Hi makers, thank you so much for getting a art and nature camp kit and for signing up. I am so excited. The first thing that we're gonna be doing today is just opening up our kit and going through all the materials inside. And we're gonna be talking about um, our very first step that we need to do before we start any of the projects. So let's do that. Here is our kit and today with us, with me, I have Willem. Say hi, Willem. And he's going to help us open this kit up. So ready? Go ahead, Will. You'll see that on your label it says live plants inside. Good job, Will. Thank you. And that is the first thing we want to actually go ahead and take out of our kit. So your kit should have three different live plants. These are all succulents. Um, and I've put them in your kit fairly dry. So what you're going to want to do, even if you don't do this pro that project first, is to just kind of take them out and you're gonna to wanna to give them just a little drink. You can even get like a low dish or a bowl and just put a little water in it and let them soak the water up from the soil. Or you can give them just a little sprinkle on the top. Should you have any little broken bits, you find any broken bits from your succulents, you're gonna just go ahead and save those, set them aside, no water, like here's one. Here's one little bit. This will actually grow a whole new plant, but not if I try to stick it in the ground or the water right away. It's kind of nice to give them, let them dry over. They get like a little crust. So any bits you're gonna just set aside, no water, no soil, just set them next to your plant. Give these just a little baby drink and you wanna put them somewhere that doesn't get too much sun or they can get sunburned. All right, also in our kit, let's look, let's see what we've got. You should have 10 cups of paint and they are the whole rainbow red orange yellow green blue purple black and white and then you should have one other one here labeled ink with quotation marks that's a brown tempera with a little bit of black ink that one doesn't that one it kind of goes by itself here and i'm just going to leave my paints the rest of my paints in my box and you should have one big cup. This is packed full of soil. It's a special kind of soil that we'll talk about in the terrarium video. You should have one cup with pebbles and charcoal. You should have one bowl filled with all kinds of little things like flowers, leaves, bugs, critters. There's like a mossy rock in there. You should have two cups, one with mixed rocks. You might have all plain white or they might be mixed colors. You should have one here with kind of glass gems. Some of these are glass, some are plastic. And again, it's a mixed up. Everybody's is a little different. A little cup with a moss, a little cup with glue. And then you should have a baggie with six feathers inside. And it also has five rubber bands and one little pencil sharpener. You should have a big terrarium bowl, one watercolor paint set with a brush inside, a sticker, your sticker might be different than my sticker, just for fun. You should have a pack like this, and inside of this there are 10 different paint brushes with, uh, that are all the same color. This black one with the silver handle is a glue brush, and then you also should have a special new Miss Megan's Make Room pencil. Digging a little deeper, you should have a birdhouse kit. Can you grab that for me, Will? Move it out of the way. Thank you, sir. You should have a note here about your nature journal, and you should also have a little blank book like this. Yours might be a different color or pattern, but it's all blank inside. So these two go together, this list and this booklet. You should have one nine by 12 inch. This is a canvas board. So it's got the same texture as a painting canvas would, um, but it's a nice little board. We're gonna be using that to make a tree painting on. And you should have two pieces of watercolor paper. And my kit is missing it. And maybe yours is too, hopefully not. 
but you should also have two full-size sheets of newspaper that we're going to use to make a painted paper flower, like a 3D painted paper flower. So go through your kit, double check that you have everything. If you are missing something, like I'm missing my own newspaper, oh my goodness. If you are missing anything, please have moms and dads contact me before you go any further with your projects. Um, and make sure that we get any missing items to you ASAP. All right, that's it. What do you think, Will? Is that a lot of cool stuff? Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're going to close that up. The first project that we're going to be working on, I'm going to make a video talking about uh, going on a nature walk and the kinds of things to look for. And then we're going to start on our terrarium project.